Hi, my name is Abdulhamid Ramani, an emergency medical technician. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bansi TV, for more EMT short videos. Today, I would like to discuss with you about the fetal monitor, specifically Bistos 350 fetal monitor. And then we look at the accessories to the fetal monitor. So, it comes with two dopes. So this is for a Doppler, used in checking the fetal heart rate. And then this is for checking the uterine contraction. And then these are the holders for the uterine contraction Dopplers and then the fetal heart rate Doppler. So let's look at the fetal heart rate, uh, the fetal monitor. This knob over here is for the dope one port. So we have three ports over here. The first port over here is for the dope one. The second port is dope two. And then the yellow one is for the uterine contraction Doppler, which is this, which is this. Now, this one up and one down is for the volume control for Doppler one. And then two up and two down is for the volume control for Doppler 2. And then you have um, alarm on and off. You have um, settings. You have the mode view of it. And then printing. And then you have where you fix the printer sheets, which is this. We'll be looking at how to fix these sheets into the fitter monitor. And then this is where you open where to fix in the sheets. Now in opening, you slide it down and you have to open it anti-clockwise. Do not try to open it clockwise. You might cause damage to the device. You open it this way and then you close it back and then you are good to go. So let's look at how to fix the probes. So first you look at how to fix the holders to the probe. So you turn it back this way. And then you fix it inside, take the other one, and then you fix this also in, then we are good to go. Now we open this. Now in fixing this printing sheet, you need to make sure you have the bigger graph and then the smaller graph. So when you look at the monitor, the smaller one is supposed to be at the right side and the bigger one will be at the left side. So in fixing it, we just leave a leaflet of it this way. And then we put it in this way. And then you slide it down. Leave this one this way. And then you give it a click. Then we are good to go. Now let's fix the other accessories. So this yellow goes to the yellow probe. So in fixing, you realize that there's a cut over here, then there's a line over here. They go hand in hand, and you put it in. This one, either way you go, whether you put it in the first one or second one, it works. Now, we on it. So you turn it down this way, and then you turn it anti-clockwise, and take it back. This is the power button. So you just click on it, and as it owns, it, it self-checks on its own while booting to check whether the system is working. So you realize that it's, it's conducting a self-test. So you realize I place the fetal Doppler onto the first one. And it has lighted a three lines under. And the ten figure over here is for the uterine contraction. So look at it. Now, you realize that as I hold the uterine contraction probe, it's working. The figures are changing. Now, for the Doppler, before it works, you are supposed to apply what you call a cosonic gel onto it, onto or onto the abdomen of a pregnant woman or a maternal patient you attend to. So let's look at it. Realize that the volume is down, and this is at US1. So the volume control, then you raise it up. So let's do a practical session of it. You realize that the figures will be working on it. Now this 
like I said earlier, is for the printer, the printing. And this is for the alarm on and off. You realize that as I press, it cancels, I press it on. And we always advise that you leave it into the yellow session. Then you click on this if you want to get the view of it. So we have a trend mode, graphic mode, normal mode. So if you click on it, it's now a normal mode. So let's click on it again. Move to trend mode. Then it changed. So you have a graph here and then you have the number that will appear over this side. So now, if you want to apply the, the printing, so let's look at it. So the volume is up. So let me change the view of it. So as it's working, I'll just click on it, then it will start printing. There is that you click and then it starts printing. The printing is three centimeters per minute, so it's very slow. So this is just a particular view of it. And this is applied on only maternal patient. Like I said, for a pregnant woman. So you realize that it's printing over here, the figures over here, and then you realize that the graph is moving and it's giving a shape. So as you can see, while it's printing. So the dates and everything, 11th, May 2020 and the time it started printing was 18 22 hours so if you want to stop you just click on the printing button then it puts a little bit forward and then it stops now like I said let's look at how to apply it on a pregnant woman so first you need to palpate the abdomen and know the exact location of the baby it's either the baby is lying in the cephalic position or in the transverse position. So you need to palpate the abdomen. So if you palpate and realize that this place is very soft and this place is hard, and that means the, the baby is lying in the normal position. So you apply the gel, and then, which we call the ecosonic gel, they use the dope on it, then you start checking for the fetal heart rate. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bansi TV, for more EMG short videos.